Hey everybody, Dimitri here. Welcome to my long-term review of these Mobius X8 knee braces on this beautiful sunny North Carolina day. All right, so the 60 second summary, um, I've used these for probably about 120 hours at this point, uh, a little bit over a year or right about a year. And I use them in all kinds of conditions and I really like them. Um, I think they are the most protective uh, knee armor that I've ever had um, as far as impact protection. They're very comfortable. They're not actually very hot uh, and they have been holding up really, really well. Again, 120 hours on these in all kinds of conditions, everything from mud to rain to cold to hot to really sweaty. And you can see they are uh, really almost looking new. Uh, the padding is in great shape, uh, so they held up really well. So uh, that's my 60 second summary. Um, I really like them. Um, I will continue to use them and I have uh, don't really have anything uh, major to complain about. All right, now to dive into this a little bit deeper. So first we'll go a little bit into the construction of these. And there's another video that I do comparing a bunch of different knee braces where I go a little bit deeper into this. And I'll put a link to that in the description and uh, into the video here. So uh, these are a little bit uh, different than a lot of other knee braces in that they don't have a, a frame per se. The whole thing is a frame and they're just strategically reinforced in a number of spots uh, to essentially give them the stiffness where they need it and which is, you know, to prevent it from um, your knee from moving in the directions that it shouldn't move. Uh, but at the same time, they are, I think, the one of the big advantages of this knee brace is that it's actually pretty flexible in certain spots, like uh, it's flexible in this direction, which makes it fit very, very well. And it's flexible up here, which again makes it fit really well against your leg and down here. So there's, there's a little bit of that uh, kind of torsional flex. Uh, which makes a brace adapt to your knee really well, but you're not going to flex it in, you know, this this direction or in, you know, this direction to hyperextend your knee. So I think uh, that is very good design um, because it also provides a lot of protection. So you have a lot of impact protection at full extension, and you can see. I've taken some hits here. There's a, actually, hopefully you can see it on camera. There's a chunk missing out of the plastic here. Um, this knee brace, I think. Yep, there's a little chunk missing here from, you know, falling on rocks. So I've definitely taken some impacts in these and I've never, I've never had even a bruise or even a sore knee or anything. Um, and I've tried all kinds of different knee protection. I've tried different knee braces. I've had full coverage knee guards and, and I've almost always, you know, you fall on some rocks, you're gonna have a little bit of a bruise. In these, I have not experienced that. So I think these are probably the, again, I'll keep saying this, probably the best impact protection you can get for your knees. Um, the other unique aspect is this ligament uh, brace which is really nice because it makes the brace fit really well. And uh, it also provides, uh, it kind of locks your knee in so that um, if you go to hyperextend your knee, your knee can't just like go backwards in the, in the brace, if that makes sense. So it's really, it's really locked into the frame. Um, the padding is very comfortable. Uh, there's the entire inside of this is padded. Uh, so you almost feel, you feel very connected to the brace. Uh, the brace is actually pretty thin in um, all the critical areas. So that's really good. And then these straps are, are very wide and very comfortable. So, uh, and then there's this ratchet closure, which is actually also really nice because you kind of remember uh, where you, um, where, where you tightened it. It's pretty obvious. And then you can set it to the same um, spot every time and you kind of get very similar tightness based on that. Uh, and then just to, you release, you release it and it unwinds. 
Uh, another, I think the last uh, thing for the construction is the extension lockout mechanism. Um, are these little plastic pieces here. So you can actually remove this, put a smaller one and bigger one in. You can see on mine, it's two different sizes because I had a knee injury on, on this side and uh, it works very well. Uh, you, I've essentially just tried different ones and I picked the one that gives me just the right extension to where I can't feel um, like I'm hyperextending the knee be, beyond uh, the point where it currently bends. And it's really interesting because um, I've actually hyperextended my knee just, you know, hiking once in a while, but I've never done it on a dirt bike uh, because these are, these work so well uh, in that respect. So uh, we'll jump into sizing real quick. Uh, so these are sized uh, kind of interestingly um, because the, this is so, f this flexes uh, so much so that it actually is not super critical to get the size of the frame exactly to your, uh, the size of your knee. So they actually use the same frame, I believe from small to all the way to large. And uh, what they change is they change these, this padding. Um, and they change the size of this leg ligament brace and the, the size of these cables. But the actual plastic frame is the same. So if you get a size that's that's not quite right, or maybe your legs are different sizes, what you can actually do is just swap the pads and uh, Mobius will actually send you the directions on how to adjust the length of this ligament brace. So you just can cut off a piece of this um, and then shorten the cable a little, a little bit as well. So that's all user serviceable. And when you buy the brace, you actually get different thicknesses of pads included for uh, for this portion and for the back here. So you can actually fine tune the fit a bit uh, within a, the size just to get just the right fit. Um, and that works really well. And it ends up being very comfortable. But as always, follow the size guide, measure your knee, um, and then you should be good. If you are between sizes, I would suggest you get a size smaller. Um, again, because the, the frame is really the same and you can just swap out the pads uh, and uh, that way you don't have to mess with this thing. Uh, because if, it, if, if, you're, if it's too big, um, this will actually bottom out um, and you won't be able to get it tight enough. And then you'll have to uh, cut pieces off of this, uh, which is not a big deal, but if you don't have to do it, it and you have it done for you at the factory, it just saves you some time. All right, so now we'll go into the pros and cons of these. So first we'll go through the pro pros. And uh, the first one I'll, I'll bring up is that these are very comfortable. Um, it kind of feels like compared to some other knee braces, this one feels like you're wrapping your leg in a very secure blanket or, or like almost like a cast, so to speak, um, or, or a, a wrap. So it's very, very, it's very comfortable. Um, all this padding just makes it really nice feeling. The straps are wide. Um, you don't have any like weird pinch points. And I actually have, um, as I said, I have a leg injury and I actually have some hardware that's kind of like poking out of my, of my, one of my knees a little bit. Um, and this knee brace, because it's got all this padding actually works very well for me. The other aspect that makes these very comfortable is that they don't move. Uh, because of all of these straps with how wide they are, with how much uh, padding there is, it's very secure on your leg. So I've never, I've worn them all day uh, on dual sport rides, you know, 12, 14 hours on the bike type of thing. And they don't move, they don't slide down my leg. Uh, obviously, as long as they fit properly, um, it's very, very comfortable and it doesn't go anywhere. So you don't have to keep adjusting them or anything. So the other pro is that they're actually, despite looking kind of big, they're actually not that big um, because the hinges are pretty slim and you get a really good feeling along uh, on the bike in them. Uh, and also the tops and bottoms are very slim. So this goes in the boot very well. It's actually very, very uh, skinny. So I've had friends with, uh, um, and actually I also have some Alpine Stars boots, which aren't very wide. 
Um, and these fit fine in those. Uh, I think I tried them even with CD Adventure boots, which are very narrow, and they work fine with them. Um, so they're, they don't feel bulky, um, and they are also not very hot. I've used them in the summer where it's you know almost like 90 some degrees and humid uh in michigan in the or in the midwest and uh it's not something that has ever bothered me honestly like i've never thought oh my god i can't wait to, to get these knee braces off of me so if you hear a rustling that's because my dog has dug herself a nest underneath a trailer did you dig yourself a nest you like that nest Is it nice under there getting all muddy so the biggest pro of these is the protection they provide which is obviously why you get knee braces in the first place so i as i mentioned already um, i think they provide the best impact protection um, that i've personally tried out of any knee guards any knee braces uh, i think the coverage is great and the way that they uh, spread the load um, across the entire chassis of the brace uh, is really good and the fact that there's so much padding is also very good so these are if you're gonna fall on a bunch of rocks frequently this is what you want uh, it, it is just very very good impact protection uh, the ligament protection is also very good I like the hyper extension stops all right durability these have been very durable, 120-ish hours, maybe a little, even a little more now, of various kinds of riding um, in all kinds of conditions, including mud and snow and just grossness. Granted, they're underneath the pants, uh, so they don't get that destroyed by the elements, but they do get very sweaty. And as you can see, none of the pads have come off. Um, the Velcro, it looks in, like it's in really good shape. It still works great. The, the cable thing, I, there's been fraying issues with them in the past, but they actually updated the design. Uh, so this cable actually looks really good. And I haven't had any, any cable fraying. I'll probably replace it at some point just preventatively. And honestly, the brace looks almost new. Like th there's somewhere on the padding but the padding is still in really good shape and I have have really no complaints about the durability of these. I can see getting another at least 100 hours, maybe even 200 hours before I feel like I need to replace straps or anything like that. Um, the frame and everything is in great shape. And then, and then the last pro is that they don't rip up pants very much. Um, so they they are very uh, kind of slim and s smooth um, around the uh, knee area where you're trying to grip the, the bike with your knee. So that would be this, this surface. You can see the paint or the powder, powder coating has come off this aluminum piece a little bit. So they don't really rip up your pants. There's no sharp little bits for fabric to get caught in or rub against the wrong way. So I haven't had any holes in my pants uh, since I started using these uh, in the knees. Um, so I think that's a, that's a big pro as well because there's definitely some braces out there that I've used where you do one ride and you have a hole in your hundred plus dollar pants, which is annoying. All right, let's move into the cons. And I'll be honest that these are all nitpicks because I think these are great and I don't have anything majorly negative to say about them. Um, the one thing that's bothered me on these is this little strap right here. I don't, I think maybe if they used a little bit different material, it wouldn't be a big of an, as big of an issue. But uh, if I'm doing a lot of hours on the bike and a lot of active riding where I'm sitting down and standing up a lot, uh, or transitioning a lot between those two, um, this strap just kind of moves and, and eventually I will get, um, it will rub against my, uh, kind of just above my knee. Um, and I will get not really a blister, but, uh, just kind of a sore spot there from it. And it's, it's kind of rough material. So it is, especially if I'm sweaty, um, it makes a bigger difference too. 
So that's just, that's literally the only thing that I find uncomfortable on these braces is this little strap. And um, the second nitpick that I have is all these Velcro straps. Um, first of all, there's a lot of them, which is good for comfort, but it does make putting these on a little bit more annoying than uh, some other knee braces like pods, for example, uh, because none of these are memory straps, so they don't just clip in. Uh, you have to set the Velcro every single time. Um, and I, uh, it would be nice if they clipped in so that you set it once, you get it comfortable, you get it to the right length um, and tightness, and then you just set it and then you don't have to reset it every time you clip in, good to go. And then the last nitpick that I'll mention here, um, I personally don't find it a, to be a problem, but uh, a couple of my friends have these knee braces or have tried them, and they say that it's a little bit hard to kickstart the bike in them, um, which I think they're maybe a little bit, because of the way the straps are, it's a little bit more difficult to bend your knee fully um, in these than something like a, a pod or some, or CTI maybe. So I could see that. Um, again, I personally haven't had a problem. Um, my bike is e-start, so I don't really do that very much. Um, but uh, I've, I have kickstart bikes with this and I haven't really had a, an issue with it. So, but it, if you have a kickstart only bike um, and you maybe already have some trouble kickstarting it, that is something that you should consider as well. All right, so in summary of this long-term review of the Mobius X8 knee braces, uh, I think this is a great knee brace, uh, especially if you're doing harder riding where you are uh, falling down a lot, falling down on rocks, uh, where impact protection is really important for you. Uh, I think they're extremely comfortable, very durable, very protective, um, and uh, also a pretty good value compared to some other knee braces out there. Um, they're a little bit on the cheaper side, um, and they have been very durable for me. Uh, I can see getting many years out of out of them without really having to do uh, any any service. And there's really not a ton of cons. Um, just a few nitpicks uh, to mention on them. So if you are looking for a knee brace, I would highly encourage you to uh, take a look at Mobius. Um, I really like them and I will continue using them. So hopefully this long-term review helped you. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I try to get back uh, to everybody uh, as quickly as possible. And uh, yeah, right on.